Welcome back guys, this is Lulu. You guys have seen her growing up in some of the other videos. Uh, I make this video today to talk about the cost and what we, what we charge for things. And a couple of you guys have asked, you know, am I charging enough for X service? And it's, it's really, it hasn't been in the comments, it's been more emails, people have, are, are curious. And I, th I think they wanna make sure they're not undercharging. I don't think overcharging really happens a whole lot in this industry. It's usually, it's a race to the bottom. And so typically what we charge may be different than London or Hawaii or Los Angeles or something else. We're here in back, backwoods, East Texas. We, we are about 60 miles east of Dallas, Fort Worth. We're in a city called Tyler, Texas, and it has a population of about 110,000 people. The total metro area is about 250,000 people. Um, we primarily service the exotics, but we do regular daily drivers and everything too. But that doesn't really affect our price as much as you would think. So using this Ford GT as an example, this owner, I don't think he's getting ready to sell it, but he's sort of hinting like that's kind of where it's gonna go. So he wanted everything you know, in sellable shape. So it had the factory PPF, paint protection film. Hi, the dog wants to play with the ball. Um, it had factory PPF along the rockers here in the, they call them the impact zones. It was very yellow. So we had to remove and replace those. We charge $100 an hour shop rate for removal. And you know we, we tried doing the flat rate a long time ago and it just doesn't work because it could be, you could spend several hours removing it or it may come off in 10 minutes and then wipe a little adhesive remover and it's ready to go again. Um, in this instance, uh, it took us about two hours for both sides. So $200 to remove it. And the PPF replacement, it's a small piece. Um, about $100 a side. So again, in and out, total $400 for that type of thing. Um, on PPF, on a front clip, we typically will do it installed by about $30 a square foot. It really just depends. If it's a vehicle like this where the Ford GT, the hood is very difficult to do, it may take a little bit longer. It's a little more complex. So the price may increase just slightly. It just really depends. The, the easiest ones are Porsches and Teslas. That's why you see a lot of the PPF videos and shops, they're always doing those two makes it's because they're very easy to do. So as far as everything else we did to this, it had a couple rock chips. If it's just a couple, we don't charge for that. We'll just make sure we have the proper touch-up paint on hand. But if it's a whole bunch, it goes back to shop rate. $100 an hour is what we charge. And you're you know, gonna wet sand them smooth, polish, especially if PPF, paint protection film, is going on top of it. But for a traditional, let's just use a Porsche 911 for an example, the front, front clip, which would include the mirrors, the A-pillars, partial roof, that's typically gonna run around $22 to $2,500 just for the PPF. So if you're running correction and coating along with that, which is most of the jobs that we do, uh, generally, it, again, it depends on the vehicle, if it's really, really in bad shape or not, but $1,500 to $1,800 for a car like this on a truck, looking at $2,000 on up, just because it's so much more to do, more labor. So you definitely don't want to undercharge. Uh, another thing that we offer in this shop is we offer wheel repair. We outsource the wheel repair to a company in Dallas that they actually come and pick up, drop off, 24 hour turnaround. Uh, as far as that goes, another thing we do, is tire replacement. Again, contracted, but it's, you have to think of the, the owners of these caliber of vehicles, they're very busy people. They're CEOs, doctors, attorneys, very busy people. So they just wanna give you the car and pick it up. So that's their expectation. So we had this car here, it came in with 2008 date codes. And I'll show you, I'll put a picture up on the screen there. You can see how terrible the tires were. They were completely dry rotten. This car has 20,000 miles on it too, which for a Ford GT is a lot of miles, but the tire, it does a lot of sitting too. The tires were very dry rotted. On a car like this, tires you would think would be fairly easy to find. No, they're a very special size and had to talk with another Ford G GT owner to get a good answer. You had to change tire sizes, things like that. And then in the middle of the pandemic and everything, you can't get them or the, for example, the fronts, the first set that we got sent, they were already almost four years old. So you know where that's going. Those went back, 
try again. So the I actually use Discount Tire here locally, and they they were able to talk directly with the rep, and they got a tire that is less than a year old. Fantastic. The rears were only a couple months old, so that's great. But that's that's some of the things you run into. And in the meantime, this car has been sitting here for almost a month because we've been waiting on the tires. And so now we're doing the finishing touches to it tonight. We have a little bit of interior work to do, clean the glass, and then it's ready to go home tomorrow, finally. So another thing you have to keep in mind is, so we bought 2000 plus dollars worth of tires. You, you have to be able to have a business bank account that you can float that for either through credit card or debit card, cash, whatever. But you have to be able to float $2,000 plus this car sitting here and you're not getting paid on it until the owner has it back. So that is, in, in this car, this is in excess of $5,000 invoice that this car has between correction, coating, PPF, interior detail, engine bay detail, wheels off detail, tires, lots of stuff done to this. And you just have to be able to float that. So that is another thing to keep in mind. So if you have this, and two or three other cars in your shop, what if others have the same problem? Then they're sitting around for a while, you're not making any money, you have to be able to float that for a while. So you have to make sure that your business account, you have a, a decent amount in there in order to survive, because you gotta eat. Um, one of the things that we don't do is metal polishing. And you know, you're talking about like the big bro dozer, American Force, those type of wheels. Uh, we do have a guy in town that he comes and polishes them for $100 a wheel. He does a fantastic job, but that's what we do. We just pass on the cost. Uh, we don't upcharge for that. It's just simply whatever it costs, pass the cost on. As far as engine bay detailing, it goes sort of the same way. It ends up being hourly if it's really bad or if they want like a show car detail, like get, it's a show truck or something like that. But in this instance, well, the engine's back there you have pretty easy access to it. It's not very dirty. So 50 to hundred dollars, something like that. You're going to spend less than an hour and it'll look great. So that's, that's for engine bay. If it's, if it's covered in mud or if it's never been done, it's got 300,000 miles on it or something like that. Yeah, of course that's going to cost a little more, but it just depends. You have to manage the expectations of the customer too. If they are just wanting it clean and not perfect, we can do that and you charge appropriately. The interiors are something where there can be a huge range. This Ford GT, as I said, it's been driven. You know, he drinks his coffee in it. It's, he, he you know, eats snacks, things like that. It's, it's dirty inside. And so you just, it, it's not as terrible as like a minivan or something like that. So on this interior, you know, $100, something like that, you're gonna spend a little, around an hour or so. Now, if it's terrible, yeah, you go on that $100 an hour charge and charge appropriately. Uh, there's no carpet in here that you need to shampoo. It's leather seats and it's metal floors. So. so as far as the interior goes, there's a wide range of what things could be. And we typically wouldn't even touch an interior for less than $100, just because no matter what, between getting everything out, getting your equipment ready, everything else, it's gonna take you an hour. So you go back to that shop rate, $100 an hour. That's about what to expect here. Uh, even if they don't want an interior detail, just as a courtesy, we'll still vacuum the floors, seats, things like that, and wipe the windows down. Just so, you know, you think, put yourself in their shoes. You, you are spending thousands of dollars at this business to get your car cleaned and, you know, perfect paint, everything else. And then you go home, you look up in the sun and you see all of this, you know, hazy windows and that, that grime that gets on the front windows. People don't want that. It's just, it's something that takes very little time and it's just like, it, it, it's an added touch. Um, do I consider that an interior detail? No. It takes five minutes to vacuum, takes five minutes or less to clean the glass and it's done. So wheels off detail on a car, a car like this, typically around $250 or so. Uh, I've seen some people charge as much as about $400, $100 a wheel. Um, $250 is just a price that we had started doing and kind of stuck with it and that's something that we probably should reassess as far as uh, increasing the price now if it's something that's really really dirty or really filthy or they want it steam cleaned uh, then yeah the price will go up a little bit you know maybe maybe fifty hundred dollars something like that but or as far as an increase but that's that's typical so 
$1,500 for correction, $250 for wheels off, so $1,750. Pretty typical with no interior. But I would say our, uh, our typical invoice price, a lot of them have PPF, so uh, without PPF, our, our tickets are in the area of $2,000 or so, and you know, two days time, something like that. The PPF, again, it depends on what they're getting done, but we've done whole cars, you know, those are six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000 worth of work, but they still want the paint corrected underneath, which isn't really necessary, but you still do have to do proper prep to have good adhesion. Again, depending on the car, depending on what they want done. So I hope that kind of helps explain to you guys, some of the professionals, some of the guys starting out in this, just don't sell yourself short. I've seen, a, I've seen it happen a lot, especially you know where I'm at. Uh, there's a lot of oil field guys here, and when they're laid off in oil field, they go and do detailing, and it's sort of back and forth. And they do not charge enough, but they're also afraid to put themselves out there where they, they, they can't stand solid and say, yeah, $1,500 for this. But you have to have work that's commensurate to $1,500 as well. So if you're just starting out, yeah, I can see adjusting at a couple hundred dollars, but you have some of these guys out there that are charging $400 for like a full correction and coating. You're gonna spend a couple days doing that. You're gonna spend a hundred something dollars on the coating. Where's your profit? So you, you're telling me you work 16, 20 hours for a couple hundred dollars? You know, that's a, a pretty labor intensive work. It doesn't seem very worth it to me, but if you're trying to do it to make money, you have a different approach to it. So I hope that helps you guys. Hope it, hope it answers some of your questions. Just something that had come up and while I was out here making some of these other videos, I just wanted to share those with you. So thanks again, we'll see you soon.